Hi guys! Welcome to the second part of digital illustration tutorial for beginners in Procreate. And today I want to cover everything that you need to know about working with layers, about all the different effects and modes that you can get. Um, I also want to talk about masking, how to make sure that your, that your work will not be pixelated, and share with you some tips and shortcuts that might help you uh, in your work with Procreate. So, to cover all the points, I will start in order from which one is asked the most. Uh, and I will go from the most basic ones uh, to more complex ones. So, the first question and the one that I'm being asked the most uh, is uh, how can it be that my work is never pixelated? And the key to that is uh, to always make sure that your work uh, has high DPI. Um, I myself always use the standard high value of 300 DPI. And I also talk uh, a little bit about it in the first part of the tutorial where I explain a little bit how it works. Uh, so once we have uh, the canvas created, uh, in Procreate we will always receive the one background layer, which you can't delete, and additional extra blank one. You can add more layers uh, by simply pressing plus in the corner of the layer menu. So the important thing to remember about is that the bigger the size of your canvas is, the less layers you will be able to use. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, I often work on canvas that is 50 per 70 centimeters and uh, Procreate allows me to use only six uh, layers. Um, my iPad is from 2019, so I know that in case of um, the iPads from this year, those limits got increased. So you are allowed to have uh, a little bit more layers. So once you have the layers, you might want to move them, delete them, uh, merge them down or rename them and so on. I'm going to show you an example uh, with some of my illustrations. Um, so first, to select only one layer, you just tap on it. And to select various layers, you slide right on them and they will highlight in blue. When one layer or many layers are selected, it's very easy to move them in the canvas. You can pinch them all together to merge them or delete them at once. Moving the layers between them is important because always the content of the layers that are on top will cover the things that you drew on the layers uh, on the bottom. To move a layer, you simply tap it and slide until dropping it where you want it to be. You can do the same selecting many layers. A very cool feature of Procreate is that you can always um, move one or uh, many layers in between different canvases. Um, for that, you have to mark the layers you want to move from the original canvas. You go to the gallery and you, used, you need to use both hands for that. Um, when you're moving and copying layers in between different canvases, make sure that both of the files have the same DPI quality. To delete the layer, you simply tap on it and slide left to press delete. Uh, here you will also find the option to lock the layer so that you won't draw on it by mistake when you don't want to, and you can also duplicate it. Uh, this is something that I use a lot. You can also hide each layer by switching it off. A little tip, when working with many layers, you can leave only one active by choosing it and pressing longer on it. So now let's go to something more advanced. Uh, layer options will be displayed when you select layer and tap on it. Uh, most of them are very intuitive. So rename, you can rename your layer just as you want. Um, copy, you can copy layer and paste it in the same canvas or to a different one. Uh, this is quite easy. Uh, fill layer will fill it completely with a chosen color. 
and clear layer is just the opposite and it will erase its content and leave it completely blank. Now, most interesting options that you will probably use a lot and they will really make a difference. Alpha Lock won't let you create any new lines outside of the shapes that you already created. I use this one a lot. It's perfect for when you want to recolor those shapes, add some textures, and it basically works like a digital masking fluid. Uh, you will always know that the Alpha Lock is on because the background of the layer uh, in the layer menu will have those gray squares on. Um, now I will jump to the clipping mask because it's easier, I think, to explain it that way. Clipping masks uh, work basically in the same way as Alpha Lock, but on separate layer, um, which means you will be able to make changes based on the original artwork layer, but uh, it will be reversible and non-permanent because you can switch off and on the separate layer whenever you want. You can also delete it without affecting the original layer of the artwork. This mask will create an additional layer above the chosen one and those two will be linked together but again you will be able to switch it on or off uh, at any time. I think the easiest way to uh, explain how this mask works will be to imagine the, that the black color is the eraser and uh, the white color will cancel this effect or bring back the original layer content from beneath. Uh, depending on how you prefer to look at it. Any value in between black and white will result in different opacity effect. The great thing about the clipping mask and the layer mask is that you can always uh, switch them on or off without affecting the actual uh, layer with the original artwork. So uh, you can always make some changes, but the um, layer beneath it will remain unaffected. And I use it a lot, especially when I want to make some change and then see how, this, how the change made on a particular layer will affect the whole piece. Uh, the only uh, thing to remember about is that both of those masks require additional um, layer space. So once you've reached the layer limit, you need to make uh, space for one layer more in order to be able to uh, use the both of them. Drawing Assist option is directly linked to the drawing guide that you will find in Tools. This means that the selected guide will work only on the layers that you uh, activate the Drawing Assist on. The Invert option will invert the colors of the layer to the opposite ones. And when I say uh, to the opposite ones, I mean the colors that are opposite uh, on the color wheel. So for example, if you have a dark violet shape, it will be changed to light green. Um, I never really use this option, but maybe some of you will find it useful. I find the reference option very helpful, especially when you base your illustration on a very well prepared um, sketch. By marking the sketch as a reference and creating a blank layer below, you can fill in the colors as uh, the sketch was on the same layer, but once again, they will be independent one from another. Uh, another option is called Merge Down, and it will simply merge the selected layer and the one directly below it uh, together. You can also do that by pinching them together with your fingers. Combine Down will group the selected layer and the layer directly below it together. Whenever I use Procreate or Photoshop or any other digital program, I use and play a lot with opacity and transparency. Uh, you can change it easily uh, in Procreate by pressing the symbol that you have on each layer and lowering or increasing the transparency. You can also play and experiment with different modes. The normal one is a default, but you can get many different uh, effects by changing the modes. It will always look a little bit different in each artwork as it looks depend on the colors in the artwork and layer order. In the next tutorial episode I will show you how I work with layers, how I create my artwork and how I use different Procreate tools. 
Um, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, let me know and I see you in the next one. Bye!